All right, and since it is Football Sunday, we're going to stick with football. It was an opening week story that gained national attention. The Miami Dolphins not only lost their starting quarterback to a concussion on Thursday, but one of their wide receivers became embroiled in some serious controversy. Uh, Caleb, you have been taking a closer look at this one. Absolutely, Lisa. Last Sunday, Miami Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill was pulled over by officers from the Miami-Dade County Police Department before their home opener. And according to released body cam footage, the situation quickly escalated into pushback and rising tensions with Hill ending up in handcuffs. It's been a talker on social media across the country and how the different sides reacted. So we spoke with local law enforcement and community leaders on this situation. Keep your window down. It's been one week since Miami Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill was taken out of his vehicle and handcuffed by local law enforcement, an incident that has sparked plenty of discussion and reaction. You're in a no-win situation. I sat down with Bishop Dwayne Brock to get his insight. If you look around his office, Brock has been a well-known and respected leader for social change in the area, who tells me he has worked hand-in-hand -hand with the local police for over 40 years. We've had many discussions about this, and I think it's imperative that we continue to have these discussions for the sake of the life of citizens and the life of police officers. Get out! Get out! In his experience, Brock emphasizes the necessity of waiting until after the incident to take action. What happens if you do try to fight it in the moment versus afterwards? What kind of a difference does that make? Statistics show that you're going to lose. Get the name of the police officer. Look at the name on the badge. Get the serial number. Brock also shared that he has developed a deeper respect for police, realizing that tough decisions have to be made on a daily basis. I don't know if I could be a police officer which is why local law enforcement encourages citizens to simply follow the rules when you get stopped. Cooperate. People laugh at that, but if you get stopped, there's a reason you're getting stopped. Mill Creek Police Chief Carter Mook says decency has to go both ways. Respect means everything. It's a two-way street. Don't do anything that the officer may interpret as a threat. Don't be reaching under your seat. Don't reach in your glove box without first being directed to. I don't want to see black young men or white young men, whoever it may be, lose their life over something that is silly. And Tyreek Hill is planning to fight his $308 fine in court, which is allegedly a combination of both driving carelessly and failing to wear a seatbelt. And officer Danny Torres has been placed on administrative duties after the incident.